Uh, welcome back to News for a Great Day, and thank you for joining us. Now, before we get to the second round of Coffee Talk, let us check back in with News Force Claire Kellett with an updated look at those headlines. Hello, Claire. Good morning again to all three of you. Today, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones plans to sign into law a new program that will provide legal representation for tenants facing eviction. City is using $285,000 of COVID relief funds to help start that program. Also today, you can give feedback on the plan to expand Steinberg Rink in Forest Park. The Forest Park Advisory Board really wants to renovate and expand the Steinberg Pavilion and the surrounding landscape. It's all in an effort to make Steinberg an attraction year round, not just in the winter time for the ice skating. Some ideas during the spring and summer include roller skating, a splash pad, beer garden and outdoor market. Tonight's meeting is at 530 inside the Visitor Center in Forest Park. So why don't we have the splash pad over here for the kiddos, the beer garden over here for the adults and right? And they can I fight it out in between. I think it's a great win, idea. Win, win. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love know. Steinberg. No, the adults are not allowed know, yeah. on the splash pad. Yeah. Yeah. Just the kids. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, Claire. That's not fair. Thank you. It is time now for round two of Coffee Talk. Okay, today you guys. Leo turned seven months old. That's right, today. <laughs> seven the month 12th. birthday. Thank yep. you. I meant to get a card. I forgot. <laughs> There's still time. Little the day cake. is young. So you know they don't make a seven month card? How ridiculous that is, is that? That is just stupid. Crazy. Now I have an idea. Anyway. Anyway, yes, happy birthday, Leo. I'm sure he's watching with all of his friends at daycare. <laughs> That's no, right. I, <laughs> Mom's on TV. I'm only seven months into this whole parenting thing, so because I have such little experience, I really do like to turn to you two. Mm. Who are experienced. It's a questionable decision, but go on. Experience. Go I'll on. go with that. Yeah, yeah. I am experienced. So yeah. since you have been dads and parents for a while, is there one thing looking back you would have definitely done differently? <laughs> one thing? <laughs> no. Just one thing. <laughs> I don't know how you would narrow it down. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. I mean, when you look back at it, when you think about it, I mean, <sighs> careers get in the way, you know, and I would have, I, I wish I'd spent more time as a parent, you know. I mean, I, I felt like I had a responsibility as provider and there was a lot of focus on that. I did spend time with the kids. It's not like I didn't, mm -hmm. right. but I just wish I'd have spent more. I, do you, I'm well, going to start singing Cats in the Cradle and the Silver Spoon mm -hmm. over here. But it's true. I sense that already. I mean, the oldest is driving and in the middle of high school, and you already think, ah, we could have we could have done more together. We could have had more experiences together. If not now, when, when? Yeah. is what I is what I and and I can tell you that it goes by so fast and then the next thing you know you're watching them war march down market street or drive a pickup or drive a 18 wheeler down the highway or move into a college apartment yeah, yeah uh, all yeah. of that it just happens fast we're talking about this today because there was recently a thread on reddit where parents admit to things they wish they had done differently when raising their kids so here's some of the feedback you don't have to win every power struggle do you guys agree with that yeah Okay. I'd say that's fair, yeah. <laughs> this is at the very beginning. Be very careful who you have kids with. <laughs> if I could do it all over again, I would have chosen better. They ended up with one response. You're saying that's what they said, that, not yes, you. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. All right. This, I thought we were breaking some news no, there. This Redditor <laughs> says they ended up with the children, ended up with one responsible parent who was completely overwhelmed mm. trying ah. to do the job of two people. That's mm. no good. No. Another parent said, we wanted our kids to be happy, so I think we coddled and spoiled mm -hmm. them. They are not ready to function independently in the Amen. adult world. Mm. In retrospect, I think learning some hard lessons growing up helps prepare them and is less damaging than learning those lessons as adults. And they could clarify, my kids aren't jerks. They're just not ready <laughs> to be adults. That's a, that's a perfect description. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of kids who, they're great kids, but mom's been picking up the dishes for them and the dirty clothes yeah. and doing their laundry and taking care of everything and holding their hand and leading them through every process from signing up for classes to little league or whatever else 
that you know when it, when they say okay you're on your own we you know we did our job mm, maybe you didn't yeah because isn't the job as a parent to prepare right. children right. for the future yeah not to make their future for them and I feel like that's a theme that's woven through a lot of Dr. Tim Jordan's segments mm -hmm. a behavioral pediatrician that comes on the show even this last one he did if you think about it he was just talking about letting your kids be bored and why that was important mm -hmm. but the bottom line was don't fix it for them. Let mm -hmm. them figure it out. Let them find ways to occupy themselves. The tough mm -hmm. part about this, though, and we've had these discussions, is that you do it out of love. I mean, you yeah. love your kids so much, you want them to have everything. You want them to be comfortable and secure and happy and healthy and all these things, yep. mm -hmm. that you're doing it out of love, but, it, but it's a little misguided. I mean, maybe well, is the best it's way just it. so uncomfortable to see them struggle mm -hmm. and, to, and knowing that you could jump off the sidelines and fix it. Right. But it's the struggle that I think forms right. them into the, exactly. the, the adults they become. Well, we are going to be discussing this more on today's Great Day Extra Live. It because we're off. experts. Yes, that's right. <laughs> on our Facebook page at 1015, we want you to join us and chime in. Maybe pass on some parenting yes. lessons that work for you or maybe that didn't work mm. and you wish you would have done differently. GDXL is brought to you by the Bomberito Automotive Group. We do so much online these days. Emails have replaced handwritten.